Now in this episode, I want us to see how we can add our own fonts in an X13 application. So I'll go back to the layout folder here and I think I can zoom it a little bit here. And from here, you'll see that we are creating this constant called inter. So this will be an object which is created by calling a function here, inter. And this inter is coming from next stroke font stroke Google. So next 13 already integrates Google fonts. So right now I want us to uh, add a font called Poppins. So for now, let's remove this inter and we will bring in Poppins and you can see it's suggested here. And then right here, these Poppins that we are importing here will be a function. So we call it right here and we pass these subsets to be Latin. But now this one expects us to also pass uh, some more properties and that is the font weight. So we need, apart from subsets, uh, we need to add font weight. So right here, I'll add a comma and then we will say weight, a full colon, and we include this square bracket. Then we will add 400 and maybe uh, 700 for bold. So here I'll say 400, then 700 will be bold one. You can even add more font widths in that array, okay? Now, once we do this, you'll see down here, for us to apply the font, uh, we were calling inter.className. So this object that we create right here, has a property called class name and that will apply our font uh, to uh, any element that we target. So in this case, instead of saying enter, we will say poppins. So poppins right here. And when you check at this font, it will slightly change if I save this file. So I'll go ahead and save. So uh, the change was minimal, but it definitely uh, actually changed the font here. Okay, so that is how we are able to add our own fonts uh, from Google Fonts in Next 13.